Hey, welcome back, guys. So let's continue from where we left off here, where we had these images, but they were quite large. So if I go to my um, my text editor and open uh, products.php, that's the one that's inside apps, views, eShop, admin, product.php. So this is the... Um, this is a div that contains our images. So we just have to style this div to get everything working fine. Okay, so I already added this class for styling. So let me just find where I added this class, which is right there. So what I will say is I will give it a display. A display of flex. And then I will say yeah, I think that that pretty much does it. Let me come back here. Let's see what's uh, what's going on if I click there again. Okay, that doesn't seem to have worked. So, what I will do now is to style the images themselves that are inside uh, this thing. So I will duplicate this and exact same thing here, but then I'll put IMG over there. And then I will put a style of a flex for colon one like this. This one, of course, I will give it a width of 100%. So let's see what we get over here. If I click on edit. Okay, so it seems uh, these things are notorious. So let's give them a width, a very specific width, a very small width. Let's try something like 10 pixels, shall we? And let's come back here. Okay, there we go. So once we do that, we get uh, what we want here. Okay, then uh, if you want a bit of a margin, you can add a margin here. Margin... Uh, let's just try two pixels that should do the job But we want also the uh, edit products to be a bit higher than this. So let's put a 650 height instead of uh, What we had there so refresh and click again and so we have a bit more clearance over there and a bit more Yeah, so That's uh, looking pretty good so let's go back to the actual thing here and I will put a break tag here just so we have a little bit of space between the images and the other controls, something like this. Okay, then when I click on this, clearly you can see there are no images on this particular one. And if I click on this one, uh, there are images there. Okay. So, so far so good. Now the thing we need to do is to be able to click edit, we click save here, and then save what we have done here. Now the interesting thing here is uh, images are a little bit different from these other controls here. Now the reason is that uh, whatever I uh, edit here, all I have to do is just tell it to save what's in here. But because this image thing doesn't have the same link to my image inserted in there what it means is that if i click save and then we save the images as well we're going to save empty uh, images we're going to save empty image links this will mean that we will delete the current images that are there and we definitely do not want that okay so to make sure that we are not in that situation let's go and see what we can do about it so <clears throat> let's come back here to our controllers and in our controller here when we are saving products we use the Ajax product so this one is add product of course that's not the one we want we want the edit product so this is where we have to fix so at this point, <clears throat> excuse me, there's product edit and then we add our data. So here we're adding the ID and then we're adding the product. 
but this is kind of outdated so because let me show you what information we're actually sending when we do send some data so what i will say is i will i want us to print a readable version of uh let's use show shall we uh data and then i want it to just die over here so that we don't end up saving anything okay so if i click save here and then i come back to inspect element console.log product input is no let me refresh this and then when i click and click save okay that's when we get that error so there are errors that we haven't fixed here so let's come back to products.php <coughs> excuse me so let's find where we are referencing this value right here which is here so this is where we are displaying our images from so all this time we've collected our data what remains is to actually send the data now there was an error there which says uh, input where was that error we've got a fix that error console let me click on that so I can see where that is. Incorrect content fetched. Please reload. Hmm. Okay, it doesn't seem to. Okay, but it shows me here it's collect edit data. That's the function with a problem. So, where is collect edit data? Which is here. Collect data. And then there's uh, collect edit data. So, this is the part with the problem. So, it's not like uh, it was unexpected. All we have to do is come to collect data because we are collecting a similar kind of data and copy everything in here. So I will copy all this down to the bone and up to the last part here, send data. Okay, great. Uh -huh. All right, so we're just going to replace everything in collect edit data, paste like that. Okay, the only thing we will change here is edit product because we are now editing the product. So we have our description, quantity, category, price, that, and we have our image right there. So it is important to get and make sure that all images are sent, which is the same as we are supposed to do right here at the very top. So image two, image three, image four. So all these, oh, they are actually added in there already. So that's good. All right, so it seems uh, everything is fine. The only issue is uh, now the controls are a bit different. Instead of just description, there's a uh, think it's edit description so let's check that out let's come to the top let's go to the edit section so it's edit description so everything has an edit at the beginning so which is good so we're going to copy that edit image yeah exactly so let's come back here and make sure we are on collect edit data and then everywhere we are getting these guys, I'm going to copy all of them like this. And then just move the case up one step and then put edit there, like so. And that should do just fine. Okay, so we have image, image three, image four, image two. All right, so I think uh, that does it. So let's see what kind of data we actually get. So I'm going to refresh my page, click there, and then I will click send. Please enter a valid main image. Okay. So now the thing is, uh, <clears throat> on our editing section, the images are all optional because we may already have an image here. So everything should be optional there. So we forgot to do that. So please enter a valid main image. So we are not supposed to do this even for the main image. So we're just going to duplicate 
one of these so let me put a stop to that like this duplicate that and then i will remove the two so that i make it the default image like that okay and then i can remove this part right here uh -huh. okay so let's refresh and try again so this time i will click save and right away uh, things are looking good because we can see now the json.parse is not working so which means we did get a result it's just that it's not the result it was expecting so we have to go back to handle result and console.log that console.log so we can see because we did tell it to do this and die so i'm sure that's the data we are getting back so however we refresh so that can run as well click on it and hit save okay so as you can see in our um console this is what we get uh which is pretty good i would on one second 